let's get down to some nitty gritty. Okay, first of all, symptoms of the flu. Let's just get, get it out there, right? It, it's let's uh, go head to toe. Head to toe. So, fever, aches and pains, cough, headache. You can have a runny nose, runny nose, and, right? And a sore throat, and then you can also have GI symptoms: right. nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. One of the things we want to do today is to try to let give people some sort of sense of how serious is this, Dr. Gross. I'm going to toss that to you. How worried should we be? Uh, I think it's too early to be 100% sure, but I have to tell you uh, I'm a little bit concerned, but I'm not overly concerned because no one's died in the United States. People have died in Mexico. Uh, the vaccine that we've been using in the United States for years may in fact offer some protection. A lot of the questions out here are about Tamiflu. Um, so, uh, Jennifer, you want to take that? Well, some, some Tamiflu, interesting Tamiflu facts, John and Peter, that we've been really kind of becoming re-familiar with all day today. The national stockpile consists of doses of Tamiflu for approximately 25% or one quarter of the U.S. population. It is an antiviral medication that luckily appears to be very effective against this particular strain of swine flu, mm -hmm. as is the other medication, Relenza. And if given in the first 24 to 48 hours, can really really shorten the symptoms as the duration of symptoms as well as the severity now how people are getting Tamiflu is a question because again people are starting to panic which we do not want ideal usage of Tamiflu is really on advice of a physician so first you want to be diagnosed with this strain of influenza or influenza a the run-of-the-mill influenza before you start taking this medication this is not indicated for anyone who feels a cold coming on I think that's really important there's 50 million right. doses right there's plenty for everybody unless we start making a run on it and that's then right. what's going to happen is there's not going to be enough of the Tamiflu for people when who we need really it. need it.